I'm not a part of it, she'll try to convince me to uh, um, get, join it. Join what? The LGBTQIA plus community. Bro, you got caught. So I found this clip on the Libs of TikTok Twitter account, and after I watched it, I instantly knew I had to record a video about it. The Libs of TikTok Twitter account is a content goldmine, so I'm probably gonna go back to it for a couple more videos. But anyways, I don't want to spoil what this clip is about because it's pretty shocking. I'm gonna just ask you to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't yet already. And yeah, let's get into it. White people that aren't like serial killers like Ted Bundy. Does your mom say you have to be LGBT? So already there's a lot wrong with this picture and let's go through it one by one. First of all, we all heard the pitch of that kid's voice, right? He's probably like 10, if I had to guess. And at the oldest, he's probably 13. And I just have to say, bro, get your kids away from TikTok. What kind of parent takes it upon themselves to go on a live stream on the TikTok app with their two little kids? Like, I'm sorry, but you're just a bad parent if going live on TikTok is genuinely one of your go-tos as a way to spend time with your kids. Second of all, the fact that this kid was reading a question that says, does your mom say you have to be LGBT? That's just not a question that should ever have to be asked because no parent should ever be making their kid become LGBT. Just the fact alone that that question was asked is alarming to me and raises some red flags right off the bat. Say you have to be LGBT. Um, no. no, I can choose what I want to be, but some, but. Go ahead, Lex, go ahead, keep talking. Say what you're saying. Um, my mom doesn't matter if I'm up if I am gay or lesbian or any of that. She doesn't care. All she cares about is that I'm a part of it. Okay, I gotta pause that really quickly. What the hell does that even mean? All she cares is that I'm a part of it? I'm sure we're gonna get clarification in just a second, but the way that comes across, it sounds like he's saying, my mom doesn't actually care which letter of LGBT I am as long as I'm one of the letters. My mom doesn't care which sexuality I am as long as I'm not straight, you know? That's what I gathered. And if that's what it turns out to be, bro, we got some problems. Like, I might have to talk to your mom, you know what I'm saying? But either which way, like, I just don't trust this mom, so this wouldn't surprise me. Like, look at the kid on the right. Bro's gotta be around the same age, right? Probably 10, 11, or 12, and the mom lets him dye his hair, like, bright green. Like, I understand that you want to be self-expressive, but like, bro, you're 10. A 10-year-old needs to learn that they're not always going to get what they want, right? And when it comes to something as trivial as getting your hair colored, you should probably, as a parent, tell that kid no. Because at the end of the day, it reflects back on you as a parent, you know? People are going to think, wow, this parent just lets their kid do whatever the hell they want. Anyways, let's continue. I am gay or lesbian or any of that. She doesn't care. All she cares about is that I'm a part of it. And if I'm not a part of it, she'll try to convince me to uh, um, get, join it. Because I... What? Are you saying right now? Nah, let him finish. Let him finish because he almost just exposed you, bro. Bro literally said if I'm not a part of the LGBT community, my mom would try to convince me to join it. Nah, bro. That is not right. Can you imagine, right? This kid ends up getting a girlfriend or something. You know, his first girlfriend. He brings her home and the mom sees this and says, hey, uh, little Jimmy, can I talk to you for a second? You know, pulls him aside, says, hey, buddy, you sure you want to be uh, having a girlfriend? I'll give you 10,000 V-Bucks if you become gay. Uh, join the LGBT community, little Jimmy. I promise you won't regret it. Like, what the hell? Like, that just sounds so bizarre, bro. Also, are we gonna talk about how, like, demented this would be if the rules were flipped? Like, if this kid was, like, I don't know, 16 years old, and he brought home, like, a guy, and then the mom was trying to convince him to be straight, like, everybody would instantly be like, oh, that's homophobic, right? Like, cancel this mom. She's homophobic. She doesn't accept her gay son. But y'all are gonna let this fly? No. No, I don't think so. Like, this is not going unchecked by a Cheeto. Like, we caught your ass in 4K. Like, it's raps. Don't try to convince me to uh, um, get, join it, because I... What? Are you saying right now? Facts. That I would convince you to join what? The LGBTQIA plus community. All right, the clip sort of abruptly cuts off there, but damn, like, you hear what he said, bro? He's speaking facts. Facts. Mom asked him to clarify to see if he was misspeaking, and he literally said, uh, yeah, if I wasn't in the LGBTQIA community, my mom would try to convince me to join it. Like, bro. 
pack it up. Like, it's over. Like, I get encouraging your son to try new things. Like, if your son isn't on the basketball team and you want him to join it, you say, oh, you know, I'm gonna convince my son to join the basketball team. But when it comes to, like, being gay, that's not the sort of thing that you try to convince your son to do. This, to me, seems like the most obvious shit on planet Earth, but forced homosexuality is just, like, like, especially from a parent, like, why would you do that? It's very funny, too, because we know if this kid said this on, like, TikTok without the live stream, like, you know, his mom would have made sure that it instantly got deleted because of how bad it makes her look, but unfortunately for her, you cannot be deleting a stream live as it's happening. I mean, if she was a better parent in the first place, none of this would have happened because she wouldn't even have gone live on TikTok with her kids, right? Like, that's some bad parent shit to do to begin with. But yeah, it bit you in the ass at the end of the day because your little one just ratted on you, you know? He said, yeah, my mom would make me gay, basically. Okay, I actually found the full clip, so let's take a look. The LGBTQIA plus community. Why would I convince you? I wouldn't convince you. That's why I should speak instead of you. Yeah, I don't okay. think I've ever convinced. Do you know what the word convince means? No. Convince means that I'm making you be something. Mom, that's not what the word convince means. Like, what? Okay, so it's good that the mom eventually said, like, yeah, I wouldn't force my kid to be gay or LGBT because that's sort of what it was sounding like for a little bit. But yeah, convincing and forcing isn't the same thing, and you just said that they are. All the mom said is that she wouldn't force her son to be LGBT, not that she wouldn't convince him. I'm not making you be anything, right? Yeah. I don't care if somebody is straight or if somebody is gay. I really don't care. But of course I'm a part. He of chose the to be a part, yes. Yeah, I'm pansexual slash gay. I mean, like, are you, though? Like, come on, bro. You ain't even hit puberty yet, you know? Like, you still got your V-card. You're still very innocent and pure. How the hell are you gonna say that you're pansexual at the age of 10, bro? Like, there's no way that kid just came up with that by himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, this mom is 100% convincing this kid to speak like this or behave like this or say to the camera, like, yeah, I'm pansexual. Not exposed. Kids are allowed to misspeak. Don't be weird. These are yeah, children. bitch. <laughs> Small little thing, but like, again, like, you're just gonna let your kid curse in front of you like that. Like, that just feels so weird. That was my kid. I'd be like, hey, watch your mouth. Your kids are a reflection of you at the end of the day, right? So if your kids are talking foul, spamming curse words at the age of, like, 9 or 10, like, that just shows that you're not a good parent. Don't test my goddamn shit. She supports you is what you mean. Yes, exactly. Yeah. If you need a moderator, I don't mind helping. Sure, but book make you as a martyr. Okay, so that's where the clip actually cuts off, and I gotta say, the extended version wasn't much better. All I really gathered from that is that the mom wouldn't actually, like, make her son gay, which is, like, that should never even have to be said to begin with, so I'm not gonna, like, applaud that or anything. But yeah, hopefully this kid gets rescued soon, or hopefully, like, the dad steps in if there is a dad. I honestly doubt it, considering everything I just witnessed, but I have some faith that, you know, maybe, maybe there is some good left in the world, but anyways, click one of the videos on screen now to be transported to a brand new video of mine comment down latte if you made it to the end of the video and i'll try to heart your comments big thanks to all my channel members as always you guys rock follow my social medias and join the discord server links are all down below and i'll catch y'all later peace